delve into the annals of the Byzantine Empire, a realm of grandeur, intrigue, and military marvels. Today, we unravel the top ten generals who fortified this empire's legacy, navigating through sieges, battles, and political mazes. Join us as we traverse a millennium of military genius. John I Simisks, a charismatic military leader, ascended the Byzantine throne through both intrigue and opportunity. His reign, though brief, was marked by a series of audacious military campaigns that furthered the empire's boundaries. Upon securing his position as emperor, John turned his attention eastward, leading successful campaigns against the Muslim emirates in Syria and Mesopotamia. His troops captured key cities, including Damascus driving the Byzantine frontier closer to the heartland of the Abbasid Caliphate. Further north, the empire's borders were threatened by the Rus, a confederation of Slavic and Norse warriors. In a masterful display of strategy and leadership, John I inflicted a crushing defeat upon the Rus at the Battle of Derostolon in 971, ensuring the empire's northern territories remain secure. These victories not only showcased John's military prowess but also reinstated the Byzantine Empire's dominance in the region. His actions, driven by ambition and tactical genius, shaped the trajectory of the empire and left an enduring mark on Byzantine history. Leo III, hailing from Isauria, ascended the Byzantine throne during a period of deep crisis. His reign would become pivotal in restoring the empire's strength, both from external threats and internal strife. Facing the threat of the Umayyad Caliphate's encroachment, Leo successfully defended Constantinople against their siege in 717 to 718, a significant turning point for the Byzantine Empire. This defense of the empire's capital was marked by Leo's brilliant tactics which included the construction of a new line of walls and ensuring a stable food supply within the city even during the prolonged siege. Furthermore, he forged strategic alliances, including one with the Bulgars, ensuring that the Arabs were pressured from multiple fronts. Leveraging the empire's naval supremacy, Leo utilized the deadly weapon, Greek fire, to fend off the Arab fleets. Beyond these martial successes, his systemic military reforms fortified the empire's boundaries, transforming regions into themes or military districts. These reforms not only bolstered the empire's defenses but also improved local governance, ensuring swifter responses to invasions. Leo III's reign, fraught with battles and reforms, set the stage for the Byzantine Empire's resurgence in the centuries that followed. Nikephoros II Phokas, a distinguished general, ascended to the Byzantine throne in 963, promising a reign of martial prowess. His leadership was marked by relentless campaigns, showcasing the empire's military resurgence. From the get-go, Nikephoros set his eyes on reclaiming territories that had long slipped from Byzantine grasp. His most acclaimed achievement was the recapture of Crete from the Muslims in 961, ending over a century of Arab control and safeguarding Byzantine trade in the Mediterranean. Not resting on his laurels, he then turned east, launching campaigns against the Hamdanids in northern Syria and securing key fortresses. The crowning moment came in 965 when he seized the city of Antioch, restoring it to Byzantine dominion after centuries. The conquest of Antioch was particularly significant due to the city's strategic and symbolic importance, having once been a flourishing center of early Christianity and a gateway to the eastern provinces. With the city under Byzantine control, Nikephoros further cemented his military prowess and bolstered the empire's strategic foothold in the region. Through these relentless campaigns, he carved out a legacy as one of Byzantium's great military strategists, a beacon of imperial ambition in a tumultuous era. John Kurkuz, a stalwart general of the Byzantine Empire, remains an emblem of tenacity and martial prowess. His campaigns, etched in history, were instrumental in expanding Byzantine territories during the 10th century. Under the banner of the Macedonian dynasty, Kurkuz spearheaded numerous assaults against the Muslim frontier, 
tirelessly pushing back adversaries and reclaiming Byzantine lands. His relentless sieges culminated in the capture of the formidable city of Melitene, a stronghold that had resisted Byzantine control for centuries. With the capture of Melitene, Kurkuas famously recovered the revered relic, the Mandy Lion, believed to bear the imprint of Christ's face, further elevating his stature among the Byzantines. In the highlands of Armenia, he masterminded a pivotal battle, utilizing the rugged terrain to his advantage and decimating the enemy forces. Not stopping there, he turned his attention to the Armenian fortress of Tefraik, laying siege and eventually forcing its surrender. Through these victories, Kurkuas strengthened the empire's eastern borders, inflicting significant defeats upon the Abbasids and their allies. Such was his legacy that his name became synonymous with military genius and unwavering determination. John II Komnenos, the Byzantine emperor who ruled from 1118 to 1143, often stands in the shadow of his illustrious father, Alexios I. Yet, his reign was marked by military campaigns that reinstated the empire's might after years of decline. Dubbed John the Good by his contemporaries, his rule was characterized by continuous warfare aimed at expanding Byzantine territories and countering threats. In the east, he repulsed the Pechenegs and waged successful campaigns against the Seljuks, recapturing parts of Anatolia that had been lost for years. Venturing south, he exerted Byzantine dominance over the Crusader states, ensuring their allegiance. Perhaps most significant was his western campaign against the Hungarians, pushing them north of the Danube and reclaiming vast territories for the empire. This strategic move against the Hungarians involved a series of battles and sieges that weakened their grip on key fortresses and regions, strengthening Byzantine control. His legacy was one of a ruler determined to restore the glory of an empire. His relentless campaigns would lay the groundwork for Byzantine prosperity. Heraclius, the Byzantine emperor, reigned during a time of profound transformation for the empire. Facing both internal unrest and external threats, his leadership would be put to the ultimate test. When Heraclius first ascended to the throne, the empire was on the brink of collapse, with the Persians capturing Jerusalem and even parts of Egypt. With resilience, he restructured the Byzantine army, focusing on the thematic system which decentralized military power. Drawing on this renewed strength, Heraclius launched a daring counteroffensive, penetrating deep into Persian territory. His efforts culminated in the Battle of Nineveh in 627, where he decisively defeated the Persians, ensuring the empire's survival. This was not the end of his challenges, however. With the emergence of the new Arab Muslim Caliphate, Heraclius faced another formidable opponent, laying the groundwork for conflicts that would define the Byzantine Arab Wars. Through his military reforms and relentless campaigns, Heraclius emerged as one of Byzantium's most pivotal figures, navigating the empire through some of its darkest hours. Basil II, known as the Bulgar Slayer, ascended the Byzantine throne during a time of uncertainty. His reign, however, would mark one of the most formidable periods in Byzantine history. From the outset, Basil faced rebellions and dissent, yet he swiftly quashed them with a blend of diplomacy and military might. His greatest achievements lay in the east and north. In the east, he campaigned against the Fatimid Caliphate, strengthening Byzantine holdings in Syria. But it was against the Bulgarians to the north where he earned his epithet. After years of grueling warfare, Basil decisively defeated the Bulgarian Tsar Samuel at the Battle of Clydion in 1014. It was said that he blinded 99 out of every 100 Bulgarian prisoners, sending them back with one one-eyed man leading each group of 100, a gruesome act that cemented his reputation. Under his leadership, the Byzantine Empire expanded its territories and solidified its power with Basil's military successes serving as a testament to his strategic genius and relentless determination. Narses, a eunuch and trusted chamberlain of the Byzantine court, was an unlikely military hero. 
yet he would emerge as one of the most competent generals of the Byzantine Empire. Initially serving Emperor Justinian I as an administrator, Narzas transitioned into a military role during the Gothic War in Italy. His prowess was first displayed when he skillfully crushed the Gothic forces at the Battle of Tajani in 552 AD, leading to the capture and execution of the Gothic king, Tatila. But it was the Battle of Mons Lactarius in 553 AD that solidified his reputation. Here, Narzas outmaneuvered and decisively defeated the remaining Ostrogothic forces, ensuring Byzantine control over Italy. However, his challenges didn't end with the Goths. He later repelled a formidable invasion by the Alamanni and the Franks, showcasing his ability to adapt to different enemies and circumstances. Throughout his campaigns, Narzas combined tactical genius with a deep understanding of both allies and adversaries, ensuring his place in military history. Constantine I, also known as Constantine the Great, forever altered the trajectory of the Roman Empire. His reign witnessed decisive military campaigns and the embracing of Christianity. Rising to power amid civil unrest, Constantine's first significant military feat was the Battle of the Milvian Bridge in 312 AD. Facing off against his rival Maxentius, Constantine was inspired by a vision of the Christian symbol, the Chiro, leading him to paint it on his soldiers' shields. His subsequent victory not only solidified his control over the Western Roman Empire, but also marked the beginning of his conversion to Christianity. Following this, he embarked on a series of campaigns to further unify the divided empire. He secured a momentous victory against the Eastern Roman Emperor Licinius at the Battle of Chrysopolis, which led to his control over the Eastern provinces. But perhaps his most enduring military legacy was the establishment of Constantinople. Strategically located, this city became the heart of the Byzantine Empire, a testament to Constantine's vision and strategic acumen. Belisarius, one of Byzantium's most renowned generals, served under Emperor Justinian I. This narrative delves into his military accomplishments, highlighting his campaigns against the Vandals, Goths, and Persians. Born into modest circumstances, Belisarius's genius on the battlefield quickly propelled him into the annals of military greatness. His crowning achievement was the conquest of the Vandal Kingdom in North Africa, reclaiming the vital province for the Byzantine Empire in a swift and tactically brilliant campaign. During this campaign, he masterfully outflanked the Vandal forces at the Battle of Ad Decimum and decisively defeated them at the Battle of Tricamerum, leading to the swift fall of their kingdom. Subsequently, he turned his attention to the Ostrogothic Kingdom in Italy, seizing the city of Ravenna after a series of fierce engagements. Apart from these western campaigns, Belisarius also defended the empire against the formidable Sassanid Persians in the east. During the Siege of Dara, he outmaneuvered the Persian forces, showcasing his strategic brilliance. Yet, in spite of these vast accomplishments, he remained a figure of humility, always dedicated to the service of his emperor and empire. From the grand halls of Constantinople to the distant frontiers, these were the strategic minds that held the Byzantine legacy aloft. Ten generals, each with tales of valor, innovation, and resilience that shaped a civilization for over a millennium. If these tales of Byzantine brilliance captivated you, show your appreciation with a thumbs up. Share your thoughts and insights in the comments below, and for more historical deep dives, ensure you hit that subscribe button.